dark. Oh my gosh, I hate. Let me stop using the word hate so much. I very much dislike the lighting in this apartment. Hey guys, I can't say good morning because it's definitely not the morning. It's like six o'clock. The sun is about to set. I feel like I always don't know how to start videos. I'm like, I say good morning and then I'm like, okay, well, do I just start talking? I don't necessarily know what I'm gonna title this video yet, whether it's me taking myself on a day, where it's me having fun alone, I don't know. But all I know is I'm alone right now. I feel like I need to sit down and converse a little bit. Let's sit down and converse. Let's, let's regroup. I feel like since I've gotten here, the three months that I've been here, I've struggled a lot with having fun alone, which is weird for me because when I was in New York, especially during quarantine, I would go out alone. I would go into the city, just go places, do things, be my own bestie. That was a good time. You always have fun because at the end of the day, you're just hanging out with yourself and you know that yourself will never let you down. But like since I've been... Okay, 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 okay. Damn, sorry. Since I've been here, that like drastically changed. I feel like it is a school environment for me. I don't know, quarantine really just taught me a lot about myself and the things that are good for my mental health and that are bad for my mental health. And I've learned that school is bad for my mental health. But it's something I can't leave, so that's like a hard dilemma. But school is bad for my mental health because as soon as I got here, I started relying on other people to have fun, which is terrible because then I'm just sad. This is not Nothing about like other people like other people have their own life people's lives don't revolve around my life which is why it's great to be your own best friend because your own life revolves around your own life so it's never like you'll have something to do and you can't you stand yourself up you can't stand yourself up since I've been here I won't want to go explore the city unless I'm with like a group of friends or if I'm just like with another friend people are busy like people have stuff to do we're in college when people are like oh sorry I can't come today I get sad because I'm like okay well I'm not going out but who said that who said I'm not going out I have myself it's definitely just scarier because I'm in a new city a new environment I don't know it's definitely a more normalized thing to be alone in New York I feel like DC it gives me smaller town vibes I do feel like sometimes I get weird vibes it's literally all in my head though like it's literally all in my head I just need to get out of my head and just go out and have fun alone because if I push myself to do it I'll be happy in the end that being said this weekend a bunch of my friends have stuff to do so I'm going to kind of like try to explore DC go do the things that like I wanted to do. I filmed two videos like this actually before like when I was at home like, having fun alone and also taking myself on a date. I feel like you guys resonated with it. I don't know if it was motivating. I don't know if it helped to push you guys to start doing stuff alone because you guys are in the same boat as me. You're looking for a push to go be the main character that I know you can be. Then here's that push. Ready? 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 So today's Saturday and I spent basically the beginning of my Saturday. I slept in because I didn't get home last night until 1.30ish in the morning because it was like a football game. I didn't wake up today until like 11 p.m. Didn't get my day started until 2 p.m. And then I've been editing a YouTube video ever since. Now what I want to do, so there's this ramen place that I've been meaning to try. So I feel like I'm just going to go today and I'm not going to chicken out because me and my chicken self, I would just order takeout and come back and eat it here but no i would like to sit down in the restaurant this is scary i'm so i'm so scared okay i would like to sit down in the restaurant literally sit down in a booth and enjoy my ramen by myself i'm gonna like pee my pants but it's okay i'm trying to think what i'm gonna do do to like entertain myself while I'm sitting in this restaurant because okay so in New York like I would go out and have fun alone but I would normally do like takeout you guys know if you guys aren't new just for the college diaries and you were here with the New York vlogs then you know that I would get food go to Washington Muse sit down on a curb and eat but that was fine because it wasn't like waiters and all of that so this is gonna be me like actually sitting down in a place and I don't know what I'm supposed to do like I don't read but I also don't want to like just take time and like go on my phone and scroll on Instagram because I feel like that defeats the whole purpose. Oh, I could take this time to catch up on some podcasts because I have not been listening to podcasts at all. I'm probably like two months late on a bunch of podcasts. I have not listened to Emma Chamberlain's podcast in like a month. I've not listened to Pretty Basic Podcast. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna listen to a Pretty Basic Podcast while I eat my ramen. I just don't wanna be in my head so much. I feel like that's my worst trait is that I'm always in my head. I'm always thinking about what other people think of me. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get rid of that, but I just don't like it and I wanna try to fight against it. I don't wanna just like give into it and I don't wanna give into my anxiety. 
Hey guys, I just want to jump in here really quickly to say thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. If you guys have never heard of Scentbird, they're basically a fragrance subscription service where you can pick a new scent every month for just $16. Scentbird's amazing because they have such a wide variety of scents. You can pick from over 600 brands. They range from like luxury brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace, bougie brands to more like underground or lesser known brands that you can discover. And also Scentbird is very flexible with their monthly subscription service so you can easily skip a month without any penalties. These are the scents that I have to show you guys today and I'm absolutely freaking obsessed with the packaging. Your scent will come in this cute tube which is just a little bit bigger than a say lip gloss size so you can fit it into your purse or even your pocket if on the go you want to be able to carry around a scent. You just twist the tube up like this and you could either just spray it just like that or you could take the entire bottle out and this is the size of the bottle that you get which is actually great because if you go into an actual designer luxury store their sample sizes are normally so much smaller than this the sense that i was so excited to try out today was confessions of a rebel get a room then christian siriano's silhouette and i've been using get a room basically as my daily scent i kind of just spray a little bit a little bit goes a long way and then the other three scents that i have to show you guys are sense of wood by sandalwood oak rebecca minkoff's blush Good Habit by a line. And to be 100% honest with you guys, I know absolutely nothing about those brands, but that's why Scentbird is so amazing for people that are beginners to perfumes like me because I filled out a super easy, super straightforward quiz that kind of asked me about like the things I like to smell on a regular basis. Just by doing that, I was able to discover two designer brands that I knew nothing about. And if I enjoy them for this month, I could even go and maybe get a regular size bottle of it. Or even if I decided that I did not not like the scent. It's so great to have these tester bottle sizes because you don't feel like you just wasted up to $100 on a regular size designer perfume. So if you guys want to learn more about Scentbird or if you just want to start getting into scents and you honestly have no idea where to start, you guys can click the link in my bio and make sure to use my code Maya for 30% off, which will actually bring your first month's purchase down to $11. And I also just want to let you guys know that as of September, Scentbird has officially expanded to Canada. So this isn't just for my American people. If if you're in Canada and you want to get some scents, you can do that as well. Thanks again for Scent for sponsoring and let's get back into the video. Guys, I cannot buy my headphones, which is gonna ruin the whole plan. I've been tearing up my room looking for them and I can't I can't find them. It's a shoebox. Like there's not that many rooms that my headphones can be in. There's literally just the bathroom, the hallway, and the main area. Why? And then I mean I have my beats, but I didn't charge my beats, so I I I, I can't I can't wear the beats. I'm gonna continue to look for this. Hopefully I find it. If not, I don't know what we're gonna do. Later. I found the headphones. They were inside my hoodie. I literally had to tear apart my hamper to find them, but I'm so happy that I found them. But I've been like nervous peeing for the past 15 minutes. Does anybody else nervous pee? Like whenever I get anxiety about something, I just pee. Like I just pee, pee, pee. I have social anxiety. I can't, but I can, but I can. And that's the purpose of this video. It's to show that I can. Me with type 1000 social anxiety can't even form a conversation with a stranger. If I can do this, then you can can do. Why can't I do this? <sighs> Let's go because it's 6 46 and I don't want to be out late. Did I fail my task? Yes. Was it entirely my fault? No. So I forgot that it's literally a Saturday night. It was packed in there and they were like, yeah, there's no more tables, there's no more seats. The only place I could sit was at the bar and I'm not 21, I'm, I'm 18, I'm 19. So it wasn't my fault, but like, was I upset that I couldn't sit there? No, because it was literally like so many people in there. I was like, I didn't even want to record the place because I was scared. That was what we were trying to overcome. Maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow we're gonna overcome it. And that's why I came in here because I feel like this is the next step up. This is the common area. I decided I didn't want to just like go back to my dark room because I feel like that, that'll make me feel very defeated. Whereas like in here, at least it's well lit and there's a table. It kind of imitates what I would have been like if I was sitting alone at the restaurant, but just minus all the people, minus the scariness because I was literally about to start crying. Let's see how this goes. I, but I'm wondering if I need like a bowl to eat this with. If I had it to go, 
and I, I might need a bowl. Honestly, I might need a bowl. I don't even know how to put this together. That might be our issue. That's definitely gonna be an issue because it's all cold. This is all kind of feeling like a defeat, like a bust, but I'm just not gonna think of it that way. I definitely need to go back to my room and eat it because it's cold, it needs to be warmed up, and it separated it. Like, here's the noodles and the egg and the meat, and then this is the broth, and then I have no clue what this is, but wow, it really, it says it on the back. It says, reheating required. So we'll go back to the room and do this. We're back in the dark, terribly lit room. I don't I don't know how to fix this for you guys. Maybe if I come from this angle, maybe it's, no. No, terrible. Oh, you know what I have to do? I keep forgetting that. Okay, that makes it a little better. Anyways, we're gonna follow these instructions and reheat this ramen. Crack open lid to broth. Just a crack. Microwave broth on high for three minutes. Pour broth over noodles, okay? Crack open the container with bean sprouts. Okay, this is bean sprouts then. That's what this is. Place cup of noodles with soup, no lid, and container of sprouts in microwave. Cook for 90 seconds. Whoa, we're getting a little complicated. It was literally six steps, and I'm like, that was a lot. So I cracked open the lid. Hopefully it's cracked enough. And then I'm putting it in for three minutes. Let me show you guys actually what these noodles look like. They have the noodles in here. This is the meat. And then I think my egg. Broth is ready. Let's see. Ow, it's hot. Damn it. Let's pour this in. I do not want to drop this, but it's just so hot. Okay, how we're looking. Very soupy, very brothy. These are what the bean sprouts look like. And also, isn't it a huge no-no to add liquid to a microwave with no lid? Like, is this not going to splash all over my microwave? Hot, hot, hot. Now the bean sprouts. I don't know why I didn't try this when I was sick. This would have been perfect because I'm fully healed. Ready. So these are the bean sprouts. They smell amazing. I just don't know if I add them in. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of it in. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Uh, I'm just gonna add it all in at this point. I'm adding it all in. I'm gonna set it up. Set it up just like I'm at the restaurant. This is how we're looking. It actually looks freaking delicious. I definitely need to invest in a lamp. This lighting is terrible. My bathroom is the only place that has good lighting all day and I can't go eat in there because that would be crazy. We're gonna try this. I put it in another bowl just because I don't want to mess up my desk. I don't even know what to think. I don't even know where to start. I know nothing about ramen. I've had ramen maybe like once or twice in my life. My brother was obsessed with ramen so sometimes we would eat it when he got to pick what we ate out. It's never really been like oh my god ramen like I love it but I've heard some really good things about this place and I went in there and I asked the guy I was like this is my first time and I don't really have that much ramen like which one should I get and he said this one which is called the shoyu. <laughs> I haven't really gotten enough of the broth just because they didn't give me a spoon. The noodles are really good. I feel like we just need to get close up vibes here. Like it's giving mukbang. Okay, I haven't tried like a good chunk of meat yet. Meat's pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of pork. That's just not really my prerogative, but I didn't want to like switch up the meat and be like, oh, I want this. Like I wanted it to be whatever was the basic on the menu. Like I wanted to stick with that because I didn't want to change it up for the first time having it. And then something that I changed is what made me not like it. Let me get a spoon. Let me get a spoon so I can try out the broth a little bit. This is not a ramen spoon. This is not even a soup spoon. Like, you know, you need the ones with the dip. What does that have to make do? The broth is good. My thoughts after trying basically everything. Ramen is just like, it's good, like I like it, but it's also like a little bit uninteresting to me. Like it's just soup and noodles. I'm also just not like a huge soup person, but what I would rate this ramen, well A, I need to rate it again when I'm actually sitting down and they actually serve me like a piping hot bowl. Right now, I would rate this ramen like a solid, like I would give it an eight. Like it's good, like it's one of the best. Well, again, I've only had ramen twice, so it's definitely the best ramen that I've had, but I would give it an eight. I haven't had ramen that's like wowed me yet. And you're gonna find <laughs> Ever just gonna get to be teenagers. 
Welcome to the next day. It's like 2.30 ish right now, 2.40, about to be 3 o'clock. And I'm like running a little behind my own schedule. Like how am I late to hang out with myself? Right now, I'm going to go into Georgetown. Georgetown is like a part of DC. It's like closer to the water. It's also close to Georgetown University. I really like it because it has both Brandy Melville, H&M, and Urban Outfitters. That's like the closest I could get to like a Soho shopping moment. So I want to go there and I want to do some shopping. But the reason I'm like, oh, I'm behind schedule is because the sun sets at like 6 30 and I just don't want to be out when it's super dark I also think I want to get some like sushi and like sit in the park and eat I just don't want to be doing all that when it's dark I think I should call my lift so if I do regular it's 17 dollars but if I do wait and save it's 14 dollars so I'm gonna go with the 14 dollar one hopefully it goes down by the time I'm actually clicking the button but I want to show you guys my fit today oh wait no I can't do a foot check without the shoes I'm gonna be wearing my pines. I feel like I haven't worn these in a while. This is kind of the fit we got going. I feel like I always look like somebody's little brother. I kind of like that vibe. My bag is packed and now it's time to call the car. <coughs> yes, it went down to $12. Oh my God, get it right now. I just saved $2 guys. Ride booked, it says it's gonna come. Oh shoot. My driver will be here in three minutes. Okay, I need to run downstairs, but oh shoot, I really need to run downstairs. Thank you. I'm sorry if it's super loud, but I'm sitting down on this little like bench here because I just ordered my sushi. This is honestly so freaking pretty. I'm like obsessed and it's like tucked away. It's like a little hidden nook and then you just have like the water here. And then it's so cute because that's actually the sushi place. And oh wait, no, it's the door up. But like, I don't wanna leave my stuff there. I'll show it to you guys when I'm picking up my food. The aesthetic vibes are here. If I had my tripod and it was sunny out, this would be a perfect place to just like take a bunch of pictures. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of my Washington Muse. Since they said that it's gonna take like 10 minutes, I'm sorry if I'm screaming, the waterfall is really loud. But since they said it would take like 10 minutes to do the sushi, I think I'm gonna go get the bubble tea first. That way I don't have to do as much walking around with the sushi in my hand. Pick up my sushi, secured my bubble tea. My arm is breaking. This is what I was saying. The sushi place looks so freaking cute. You wouldn't even recognize that it's a sushi place. Oh, 
My clothes look real good on ya T-shirt with the rainbow stripe I made it to the park I'm like sitting down on this like oh. I'm sitting down on this like little plot of grass. I had, okay, so maybe it was a bad idea to not ask for a bag for my bubble tea because it spilled all over one of the jackets that I just got and this is like the literally hardest thing to wash. That's fun and dandy, but we'll cross that bridge when we get home. Other than that, right now I'm going to grub and drink, enjoy this. I mean, there's really no sunset because as you can see, it's extremely foggy outside. It's just like straight fog. This is a Thai tea bubble tea. And then let me show you what I got from the sushi place. I literally have not had sushi since I left and I've been going through genuine withdrawals. I've been going through withdrawals of like so many foods, Mexican food, sushi, not necessarily Thai food because there's actually really, really good Thai food in DC. Let's open her up. I think I got a rock roll, which is like eel and something else, and then I got a shrimp tempura roll, which I think that's the shrimp tempura. The place was called Bluefish, I believe, and it had pretty good reviews. So we'll see, we'll start with, we'll start with the shrimp tempura because, you know, keep it simple, keep it simple. <laughs> Let's try this rock roll. Cheers. <laughs> Bomb. Bomb. Let's chat about my day today. I look crazy. Am I finally looking crazy? Yes. I'm just not making eye contact with anyone and I'm not turning around. But I'm literally sitting in this empty park talking to a camera. So to start out, I went into Urban Outfitters. It was like a madhouse. It was crazy. There's so many people in there and also so freaking expensive. I just can't bring myself to go regularly shopping at Urban Outfitters because it's so expensive. I got those one pair of pants, which was like close to $100. I mean, mind you, they were some freaking fire pants, but Urban Outfitters do better, do better. H&M was like a saving grace and also a curse at the same time. They had so much good stuff. I was like, H&M, since when do we have all this good stuff? But I was like, okay, my bill went crazy. Like I did not expect to come out of my house and spend as much as I spent, but I spent as much as I spent. Today, honestly, 10 out of 10 day. Other than my arm breaking off because of all the stuff that I bought, 10 out of 10 day. I did things at my own time. I did things at my own pace. Kind of just relax. Definitely easier in Georgetown because it reminds me a lot of, so and there's so many tourists around. It's just like go, go, go. It's just like very high energy. What I didn't get to do today was go to Levain's Bakery. But actually, it might not be closed by the time I finish here. Let me see what time Levain's Bakery closes. They close at 8, so I do have enough time to make it there. Look at this view, guys. This reminds me of Brooklyn Bridge Park, or like if you would go to like the piers and you would watch the sunset. Feels like I'm home, but I'm gonna continue to eat, chill here, maybe put on a podcast to give me company, and then go to Levain's and head home and give you guys a haul. Company. Let's get each other up to speed hey, hey. I can see the best of your hills Then I silhouette up on the still Dolly brush truck with the canvas jet hey, hey. Gotta let the paint dry Bourbon make us feel fine Body heat make the skin cry Baby babe, it's a good night When we wake up still on the best side Pillars, hearts, our symphony Souls connect so physically, yeah Come to shine like laser beams Wanna feel your energy, yeah I'm hearing you songs Your voice leading to what you do it's the next morning. I know I said I would give you guys a haul when I got back home, but I got back home. I straightened my hair, as you can see. My hair is now straight. And that took pretty much all night, and then I had to take... Okay, don't... It looks bad right now, but don't mind that. I just... I, whatever. And then I had to take a test and all that. But I still want to give you guys a haul. I still want to show you guys what I got. I have it all laying there, and I also had to take the time to wash the things that got Thai tea on it, because I was just scared. I was like, does Thai tea stain? I don't know. It's pretty orange. It's pretty pigmented. First, we'll start with the thing that I got from Urban Outfitters. You guys saw it pretty much when I was in the fitting room. I don't know if you saw it in good lighting, but these are some bdg carpenter pants i got them in a size small which is probably like a 30 waist i would say i don't even know what's on it but i just love the color combo it has like all of these little drawings and like patchwork on it i literally put these on and i was like you know what the price does say 79 us dollars it does but they're so cute and i feel like <coughs> 
sorry. I feel like this will be worth it. This is the next pair of pants that I got from H&M. Let me go run and put these on really quickly. These are some khaki colored cargo pants. I got these in the men's section. I think these are a 30 waist also. Whenever I get stuff from the men's section, I always just get like 30 waist because that's how I know it's going to be nice and oversized. Let me show you some of this shirt. I put on an undershirt so I could show you this cropped hoodie and I'll link the stuff down below so that you guys can find it. This is the little gray cropped hoodie. I just like the vibe of it. I like the crop of it. I like this because it still comes in around the waist so I feel like it's more flattering. I got the same exact one in this brown color because I was like why not? This is the brown one. I feel like the brown one actually looks really good with these pants. Like a nice neutral tone moment. And then there's the hood in the back. The next thing that I got is this zip up. It's like a cardigan material but it's special because so you can zip it however you want it. Let me lower this a little bit so you can see. So like if I wanted it to be like a higher thing, which I definitely would not do, I would wear it either zip down like this and then have it be like a cropped moment like that. Or you could do like the double zip and have the bottom zipper come out also. I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. The next thing I'll do is the t-shirt. I got this long sleeve gray Metallica t-shirt. Basically the theme for all of the stuff that I got, I was really just gravitating towards earthy tones and neutral tones. This probably looks terrible because it's probably like super wrinkled and it doesn't really go with these pants that much. And it's super comfortable. I love the print and I just felt like I needed some more graphic t-shirts to kind of go with all the cargo pants that I was getting. Next thing that I got is this cream sweater. Everything is very cropped. I got everything very cropped. But I got this because I felt like this would be a cute moment if I want to dress a little bit more dainty one day. I could throw this on with like some cute jeans some like black jeans and call it a day I got it in a medium so that I can be semi like I could do it like semi off the shoulder it's honestly still could have even gone for probably like a large but I'm fine with the medium the next thing that I got is this Sherpa crop jacket and it has this super cute checkered pattern going on I was really contemplating if I should get this because I was like do I need a jacket like this? Like, do I need this? And I was like, no, I don't need it. But would it elevate a bunch of my outfits? Absolutely. I feel like it's gonna keep me warm, but it's also cropped, so I don't know how warm I'm gonna be kept. But it's okay, because I'm a native New Yorker, and it doesn't get as cold as it does in New York out here, so I should be fine. Last shirt is this, what is this called? It's not a flannel, but it's kind of like that flannel vibe. Acid wash, is it called a shacket? It might be called a shacket. I just love this. I feel like it looks so nice, contrasted with like gold jewelry, and I feel like this is something I could just like throw over a bunch of outfits to like add a layer to, and it would be really cute. Not with these pants, but imagine with like some jeans or like some like tighter fit pants and then like I do the button like this in like a sleek butt moment like then this is probably the most chaotic haul that I've ever done for you guys, but these are like gray cargo men's pants. I got these in the men's section also. They have a slanted pocket here, the pocket there, but these are different because they scrunch at the bottom. They also have this tie if you want to like make the waist tighter. And now onto the last pair of pants. These are these straight leg track pants because they have that like shiny track material, but they have blue stripes on the side and then they're brown, which I feel like was a nice contrast. This actually looks really good with a nice hoodie over top of it. If I got a hoodie that like matched this light blue, I feel like that would be such a cute fit. All this talking is making me parched. This is my first time communicating for the day. I forgot one shirt because I had to wash it because it spilled chai on it and then I accidentally put it in the drawer. This is another Another crop top but like this one is a nice just like basic black crop top and has the cute little collar on it I don't know I just felt like it was like a cute little basic thing to have I don't have anything like it so that was the last top but I did get one more jacket which you guys probably saw there it is this literally got the most chai spilt on it which was like literally sucks because it's the hardest thing to clean because it's not dryer safe and it's like barely washing machine safe like I had to wash it on cold for only like five minutes but it's not like fully dried yet but I'll still try to show you it's just like the sleeve are still pretty soaking wet. It's 
definitely wet. I feel like this is like one of the main things and I really need to show it to you guys. This is it. It's basically just, what is this called? Is this called Letterman? Like a Letterman jacket and it's like this super pretty green color. It, it says like Minnesota, Minnesota College. I don't know. I saw the M. M stands for Maya. M does not stand for Minnesota. It stands for Maya in my book. I was obsessed with this. This was definitely the most expensive thing that I got. It was like $60. This is so trendy right now and it's also so freaking cute and I just, I'm addicted to it. This with like a crop top underneath or even this with a hoodie underneath when it's super cold. This will be top tier. That was it for the haul. I put back back on my lounge clothes because I actually have a test that I need to take today. It's the start of midterm week so I have a lot of work and like studying that I need to do but thank you guys for coming along with me on my journey alone. I can't even say a day alone because it's literally been three days. This is a three-day process. I feel like this weekend was definitely one of the greatest weekends I've had here. I enjoyed getting the time to become my own best friend again and like get back in touch with myself and just like chill and do what I wanted to do but yeah so i will see you guys next time have a great day if you're watching this in the night have a great mm, sleep <laughs>